Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 4th of 2021, well, it is titled EHT Resolve Central Jet from Black Hole in Sen A. So what do we see here? Well, this is an active galaxy known as Centaurus A, the uh, first radio source and strongest radio source within the constellation of Centaurus. And we see a number of different images here constantly zoomed in more. So first we see the outermost regions uh, with emissions stretching well out uh, to scale here. And that is the image in the upper left hand side. Then as we zoom in to the upper right image, we're looking in a little closer at about 40 times magnification looking in at that central region. And that's often what we see as Centaurus A in visible light, where we see an unusually active galaxy with jets coming out from it. And in fact, it looks like a combination of two galaxies overlying a elliptical galaxy. And then within that the dense dark star dust lanes associated with a spiral galaxy. So perhaps something going on here is two massive galaxies colliding. When we zoom in down to the middle right, we see we're looking at the jet here and we're going now 165,000 times a more detail. So we're looking at distances on the scale of one light year, which is only a fraction of the distance between us and the nearest star. So we start to see some of that. But now with the EHT, the Event Horizon Telescope, giving us the opportunity to look down in great detail using a number of different telescopes and putting them all together, putting all of their observations together to simulate a much larger telescope and allow us to see with very high resolution what is happening. And that's our bottom image there, which shows distances of about one light day about the size of our solar system uh, labeled there and it's about a 60 million time magnification looking down at the very central regions from the original image that we looked at. So the Event Horizon Telescope has begun imaging black holes. And it's called the Event Horizon Telescope because it can actually see the shadow of the Event Horizon. While we can't see a black hole directly, because it does not give off any light, we can see its shadow as it blocks out light from behind it from getting through. And here now we're seeing the jet and trying to un better understand these jets, which are very common in many galaxies and even other types of jets on a smaller scale within star systems. So jets within astronomy are something extremely uh, common and something we strive to better understand. Now the bottom image may look like two jets to you, but it's actually the edges of the jets that are highlighted and seem to be a compressed and brighter than the middle portion of the jet. And that may be telling us something about how the jet is confined. How do we keep such a narrow jet over such long regions? And one of the thoughts is that possibly it has something to do with magnetic fields confining the particles and keeping them confined in a very tight beam as that jet exits the black hole at the nucleus of this galaxy. So as further studies go on with the Event Horizon Telescope, we're getting a better idea of what happens at the center of active galaxies since such as Centaurus A. So that was our picture of the day for August the 3rd of 2021. It was titled EHT Resolve Central Jet from Black Hole in Sen A. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Meteor the Milky Way. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.